In this video, we're going to show you how to set up the local area network connection for your DVR or NVR. Okay, I first want you to make sure that you actually have a network cable connected to the unit. From there, you're going to go ahead and right click and select menu. Once you're in the menu, you're going to go to the configuration menu. You're going to look for network on the left and then click on general at the top. Now by default when you're opening a new device the default IP address is 192.0.0.64. In the general screen I want you to go ahead and check enable DHCP which will go ahead and erase and gray out the default information and hit apply down at the bottom to save your changes. Once you've hit apply, right click the mouse, which will bring you back out to the main menu structure, and then choose maintenance. Okay, within the maintenance screen, I want you to click on system info on the left, and then network on the top. Okay, now you'll notice the first three fields, your IPv4 address, your IPv4 subnet mask, and your IPv4 default gateway are all filled and this is done through the DHCP server within the router so I would like you to now jot down these three lines of information or take a picture again you need the IPv4 address the IPv4 subnet mask and the IPv4 default gateway okay once you've jot the, written those down or taken a picture you can click back or right click on the mouse bringing you back out to the main structure menu Go back into configuration, network on the left, and then general on the top. Okay, that information will automatically be filled in for you. Now, if it is not, you have it written down for yourself. What I want you to do now is uncheck the DHCP. Now, the reason you're going to uncheck the DHCP is because if this is left checked, if there is a reboot to the device or the router, your local uh, area IP address can change. Now if that changes during the port forwarding process the ports will no longer align up to the local area network and it will then deny you access from the outside whether you're using a static WAN IP address or the DDNS name. So go ahead and uncheck enable DHCP. Now again your information is automatically filled in here and if it isn't you have it written down so you can go ahead and manually do so. The only thing I would suggest from this point is changing the last octet of the IP address. Okay, This address 105 is part of the DHCP server and that's a defined block of numbers. Um, to avoid any IP conflicts I would recommend again changing the fourth octet and I usually suggest going to something above 200. So in this case we'll go ahead and make it 225. Hit enter to make the changes. Now also in order to set up the DDNS correctly which we will go into a little bit further down the line always make sure your preferred DNS server is filled out. Okay, By default this field is left blank. Now you want to fill out this field with either the same address as your IPv4 default gateway above or use a preferred DNS server that you know is a reliable server. For instance, 8.8.8.8 .8 is Google's DNS server. Um, so you can go ahead and use your IPv4 default gateway or Google's again which is 8.8.8.8 .8 but always make sure that the preferred DNS server is filled out if you plan on using and setting up the DDNS for um, outside access. Okay, once you're done filling in the preferred DDNS, the IPv4 address, making the change to the last octet, the IPv4 subnet mask, and the IPv4 default gateway, come down to the bottom, hit apply, and you're saved, um, and you've now successfully saved your settings. I would recommend opening up a web browser on a PC or a laptop on the same network 
and typing in your IP address for the DVR, and that would be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.20.225, and making sure that you actually connect to the DVR. Another way to test it is opening up your command prompt and pinging the IP address. Once you've confirmed that your DVR is now set up on the local area network, your first step to networking your DVR or NVR is done.